Hey coach, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to make your football training business more consistent. So a common struggle that a lot of coaches that I work with have is consistency. So, so keeping your business consistent, keeping your training sessions consistent so that you are having a recurring uh, training business. So essentially a problem that a lot of coaches are having is they're, they're having trouble keeping clients consistently coming to their training sessions. And that's because they don't have the following things that I'm about to share with you today in place, which is affecting not only just the way that they, they're, they're getting paid, but it's affecting them having a consistent training business. So the first one is when I look at all the coaches that I've worked with, all the coaches that I've spoken to, and all the most successful football trainers out there, the number one thing they all have is they all have a successful set day and set time with their sessions. So every single week, there's a consistent set day, set time when the training sessions are running with their clients. So what they're doing is when they onboard a new customer, okay, that customer knows that the, this day, this time is when the training sessions are going to be. This might be for one-on-one -on -one training or this might be for group training. But that customer knows immediately once they join the program, these are the times, these are the days that my child will be attending training with Coach Leo. Okay, so the most successful coaches and how to build a consistent training business is you have to have a set day, set time with your training sessions. Now, the second one is having contracts in place. Okay, having contracts or having player agreements in place with the customers that you work with. The most successful coaches out there that are running successful training businesses they all have a parent and player agreement signed before that player joins their training academy. So when we do the onboarding with a lot of coaches, with the coaches that we work with, what we do is we set up contracts in place for the duration of when that parent is going to be with that coach. So if, for example, you're doing group training, and you have a training session every Monday evening on a consistent basis. So every Monday is a training session. You've got clients and customers that are paying you on a monthly basis. So they're, they're paying a monthly subscription to attend your training sessions. When that parent joins, they sign an agreement that they agree to your terms and conditions that you've put in place with your business. So this means that when Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones joins your academy, she knows that, right, when I join, I've got, these are the set day, set times that I'm going to be attending, and these are the requirements required from me in order to be successful in the program. So this might be making sure that all payments are up to date every month, making sure that the child is on time to every training session, making sure that their child is available for every training session. So having contracts and a play, player parent agreement in place is going to make your business more successful. It's going to make your business more consistent. And essentially, it's going to help your business to grow and scale to the next level, right? So we've got set day, set time for our training sessions. We've got pay, players and parents that are signing Player, player agreements when they join. And then the third one is a monthly billing. So with the coaches that we work with, a lot of them, what they do is they have these monthly recurring billing in place. Now, if you don't feel that you're going to be able to have consistent training sessions, then essentially you can't implement this model into your business. Okay, this model only works if you know that you have a set day, set time with the players that you're working with every single week and that 
you're going to transition every one of those customers that come in into a monthly air subscription billing. A lot of coaches, what they tend to do, okay, because they're very fearful of the monthly billing, what they will do is they will have players pay on the day. Okay, now this is a model you can implement if you want, but there's a lot of problems to this. And the problem is that if you're allowing your parents and players to pay on the day, essentially you don't know who's going to show up. Okay, because you're giving them control over when and when they pay you and when and when they attend your training sessions. Okay, however, if you have a monthly recurring billing in place, okay, that parent is getting billed automatically through a software. Now, if that is in place, then that means you have to deliver weekly training sessions to reflect on the payments that those parents are paying you. Okay. So these are the three fundamental ways that you can build a consistent training business so that you have players in your program for longer, you have a more a committed type of parent that is joining your program, and that you are consistently getting revenue every single month into your business so that you're not having to follow up with parents and players uh, and hoping that they pay on the day when they attend your, your sessions. Okay? If you want to reach out to me, or if you want my help, you visit the description below. There's a number of ways you can get in contact with me. Also, you can send me a message to my WhatsApp number. It's in the description below. I respond to every single coach that contacts me through there. Hey, okay, thank you for watching, and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.